Today we are at Allendale Machinery Systems here in New Jersey and we are talking automation. I don't even have time to get around here because I'm so excited to bring to you a really great few topics in automation, whether it be cleaning, whether it be deburring, whether it be the integration in a machine cell itself, we have some great topics. So I invite you to come inside to the brand new Allendale Machinery Systems building and join MTD CNC on a great journey of automation. Automation today in, in the U.S. is extremely important for a lot of reasons. We have an aging out workforce that is requiring a lot of replacement jobs and without people to take those jobs, we need automation. Automation doesn't have to be complicated. It can be easy. And so by replacing this aging out workforce with automated components like robotics and end of arm tooling, we're allowed to continue the U.S. factories and keep a global strength to have power to make our own material and products like in the case of a pandemic. There's a lot of stipulation, I, I would say, maybe over whether a company can, can take on an automation project and the difficulties of it. But in some cases, there's a lot of applications out there that just require a very simple, short integration. And there's new technologies out there with new robots that allow you to deploy an automated process within possibly a few hours. We've developed a lot of the technology in-house, but we've also worked with the leading technologists and invent inventors in the world to bring this uh, product to full fruition and to commercial product uh, sphere. So the first uh, sense of urgency that our customers have with regards to their parts is finishing. Surface finishing involves uh, myriad activities and processes including deburring, surface finishing, surface buffing, and of course surface cleaning and sanitization. So our micro crystal blast technology, which is based on recycled CO2 green technology, accomplishes just that. It removes oils, fingerprints, debris, contaminants off of uh, objects or parts or systems and assemblies that have already been machined or put together. Yeah, so the reasons people choose Precision Cobotics is we invest extensively in training our customers to be successful. We think we have a responsibility to make sure they can be successful once the automation is deployed. About half of our deployments involve bringing the operators into our facility to help with the build. Many times you invest in automation, you do an FAT, you're going through a checklist that's kind of been pre-done to be successful. Much that it takes to keep it running in a manufacturing environment is figured out preparing for the FAT. So we include our customers in that. So when it's deployed on the floor, they've learned from that and they can address problems themselves. So we try to share the ownership of the system with them. New Scale Robotics sells and develops a system that automates manual gauging. So when a manufacturer produces parts, they then have to inspect it. And we help to automate that process. Uh, customers are spending hours every week or every day even measuring parts. We help to automate that process and free up a person to do less tedious tasks. Uh, what we have here is a pretty basic setup with a UR10E arm on a VF4. Uh, we use a Haas rotary table to take a three axis machine and give it five axis capability. Uh, we're using fifth axis work holding. That uh, gives us the ability to put whatever parts we want in the machine with the robot with only one robot program. So once we go, we set this up in your shop. Uh, one robot program, you can load as many parts in, or programs into your machine as you like, and the robot's only ever going to load and unload that. With all this fifth axis work holding, uh, all that's required with any pinch block system really is to put a cleat on the front of it so the robot's able to grab the part. Uh, any existing work holding that you have that uses like a rock lock system or fifth axis, all it takes is drilling and tapping a couple holes in the front of that fixture and then the robot's now able to load and unload that into the machine. Well, we've made it through the automation cell. I hope you've learned as much as I have today. And it was so beneficial that I needed to take a break and sit down. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you join us again soon. www.ntdcnc.com.